Commemoration ceremonies were held in TRNC in Turkey on the occasion of the 83rd anniversary of the death of great leader Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. Joy and sadness was experienced together in Nicosia Emergency Hospital today. While 89-year-old Fatma Koç, who was treated for COVID-19, passed away, Ferhat Nurten Tuna couple's baby boy Yamaç opened his eyes to life. Today, the wind which affects life negatively from time to time by exceeding 100 kilometers caused fires in many regions and caused air traffic to be disrupted. The meteorology department warned the citizens that the dusty and polluted air will continue for free more. The wind also negatively affected life in the South Cyprus. Minister of Health Ali Pilli stated, there will be no closure unless there is a very important global negativity in the pandemic conditions. The program of National Unity Party, UBP, Democratic Party, DP coalition government will be discussed at the General Assembly of the Republic Assembly tomorrow. Despite the commitments made at the COP26 climate summit, it was noted that the world couldn't come close to the goal of limiting the global temperature increase. In a recent analysis, it was emphasized that the world is moving towards an increase of 2.4 degrees, far beyond the targeted 1.5 degree increase in global temperatures. The dollar, which opened the day at 9.74, saw its new historical peak by climbing above 9.87 in the afternoon as inflation exceeded expectations in the USA.